subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, my name's George Holder, and I'm a cloud solution architect in cybersecurity for Microsoft Australia. My role is to work with our customers using the Defender products and help them with the problems that they might have implementing and train them so they can get the best value from using the product. I prepared for the Microsoft Security Compliance and Identity Fundamentals exam, mostly using the learning pathways. The pathways on the Microsoft Learn website are really comprehensive and they give you uh, good examples and links to other Microsoft Learn docs so you can really get a comprehensive understanding of the exam material. And then I was able to use a, a demo environment and practice the technical aspects of the exam, which really well prepared me so that I could sit the exam successfully. The Microsoft Fundamentals exams are, are not too straightforward. Some people underestimate them because they're fundamental exams, but they are still covering quite a good breadth of knowledge. So if you pass the exam, you can have a good sense of achievement. I don't think they're too difficult so long as you take the time to prepare for them well. I think every exam that you can sit and attain a certification is worth it. Having that certification allows you to prove to prospective employers that you take your professional development seriously. I also think that the knowledge that you can gain from doing the exam will really help you if you get a job with a Microsoft environment, especially if you're doing security. But the knowledge that you gain from it, it's, it's more important than if you're in a security role. It's just good to have a good understanding of security for any role which has got technology in it. I think on any job that you apply for, if you can demonstrate that you've sat some of the Microsoft Fundamentals exams, it shows that uh, you're really dedicated to developing yourself as a professional in uh, technology services or technology areas. So uh, in terms of your career prospects, I think that they'll really put you ahead of the pack because other people that have applied for roles, they might not have done those same certifications. And also having done the certification will teach you a different language that you can use. So if you are applying for a security role, or if you were applying for a role in a technology organization, you'd be able to use the, the new words that you learnt while studying and describe the concepts appropriately and uh, give yourself a good opportunity to get the job. So I think uh, don't just learn the material by rote in the learning paths. I think it's really important that you take the time to experiment with what it's telling you. Uh, so one of the best ways you can do that is if you get a, a developer subscription. That's a free subscription that lasts you for 90 days, and that will give you the appropriate licensing that will allow you to cover everything in that security fundamentals exam. So I would encourage you to explore and, and use that demo environment so that you could uh, test and learn about the features through doing as well as through reading and that way you'll have a, a good comprehension. The exams don't expect you to be able to just uh, answer a question based on remembering the answer but through demonstrating your understanding of the concept. So by doing it in the demo environment you'll absolutely be able to understand the concept and give a great answer. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel 